Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about data models. Data model is a underlying structure of a DBMS. It describes the logical structure of how a database is going to be designed. It's a conceptual tool which uh, is used to describe the data, the relationship, that is how they are related to one another, their semantics, how they are accessed, implemented and stored and the constraints. Constraints are the rules or the uh, conditions. Say for example, I want to have an enrollment for a course, but there is a restriction that students who have a basic degree of B.Tech can only apply or students who are or candidates who are above 18 years can only apply. So there can be a constraints with which I am actually denying or not going to accept the enrollment of the uh, candidates which does not meet the requirement. So all these details of data, their relationships, semantics and constraints can be understood before developing the database itself. It can be designed and that is called as a data model. So overall it gives you an idea as to how the database would look like after it is finally completely implemented. Coming to what are the different types of data models? Now beginning starting from the historical ways, we had hierarchical and network models which was earlier used to discuss or describe the database structure. But most often nowadays it is always relational ER models and object oriented or object based models. There are different categories, we will be seeing few of them. Coming to the hierarchical data model, as I told, one of the older models which was used. Hierarchical model as the name itself says, it is a tree based structure based on hierarchy of the data. Let us take a simple example of our college system itself. We have a hierarchy of principal, then heads of the department, then maybe class teachers or class representatives, the so called CRs, then comes the overall student. There is a hierarchy. So here also in this particular model, the data, this particular model was used where the data was organized in a tree like structure. The data is stored in the form of records which are collected, which are connected through the various links. The links are like the relationships. Okay, a record is a collection of fields with each field containing only a specific value. For that matter, each record is about a student. Hierarchy goes above. Yeah. Coming to the network model. If you see hierarchical model is a tree like structure, whereas I can say network model is a graph structure, where the data model organizes the data in a flexible way with the relationship between the entities. In a tree structure, you have observed that higher level there is only one hierarchy. That means each class, class can have one teacher and each department can have only one head of the department. It is like that. But here you see there are multiple connections. If you see order, order can be accessed both by client as well as the supervisor. So this is the hierarchical data structure. It is an advanced model of our hierarchical data model, advanced version of the hierarchical data model. So now a semantic based data model which is called as ER model in short, entity relationship model. Now basically whenever we convey certain things more than words, pictures will appeal more. You listen to a lecture or view, view a video, video is more appealing. So, in the similar way, we have seen that diagrammatic representations will convey the contents better. That is why the program, we have flowcharts to represent. In the same way, there is something called as entity relationship model, where entity is the object, the attributes are their characteristics and we show the relationship between the entities. So, we take up the college example student takes up a course. How do I describe a student? A student ID, name or age. The course will have the course ID, course name or otherwise you want course fee, duration etc. etc. The relationship is student, 
studies a course. So, the data structure or the database structure is represented in the form of a diagram where real world problem is represented in the form of a diagram where entities are the real world objects and the relationship between them is depicted. Now, coming to the fact that when I represent it in the form of diagrams, the more the number of entities increase, the diagram becomes more complex. This is not that convenient. That is where the next level semantic models are called as relational databases. A relational database is used to construct the model by using a relation which is thought of as a set of records or I call it as a table which is a collection of records. So, the description of the data in terms of the data model is called as the schema. The structure is called as the schema and in the relational model, the schema for the relation specifies the name, name of each fields that is the attributes and type of the field that is the data type. So, I will show you an example. This is how a relation is represented. That means, there is a table. Each table has certain characteristics which I call as the attributes and each record is going to talk about one such real entity. When I talk about student as a table, the student will have roll number, name, CGPA as the attributes and here each record or each row of the table represents the details of one student. This is relational model. Moving further, we have come to or you guys have already understood what is object oriented concept. The real life entities wherein I have object based or object oriented data model. This goes in the similar fashion, but the basic thing is that the objects or the entities along with their attributes, the methods which are used to access these entities are also included into it. So, the real world problems are more closely represented in an object oriented data model. Along with the data, the relationship are also combined. We talk about encapsulation, which in the data and their functionalities are put to there. We can store the audio, video, images. The advanced level of structures can be implemented in the form of object oriented data matter. If you see here, the person is an entity or person is an object where their attributes and the method to access them are also included into it. This kind of real world representation will provide a better understanding about the database to be created. So, this is all about the most common data models that we and will learn in DBMS. So, remember data models gives you the final structure or shows you how the final system would look like after it is implemented, including the data, their relations, their semantics and the constraints. Thank you.